latest news update. Good afternoon and thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Maya Holloway with your Midday Arkhamus update. Starting off, the city of Monroe can look forward to safety improvements to, lo to the local airport. NBC 10's Haley Hines has more details. Major improvements are on the way for Monroe Regional Airport with more phases to come. A $12 million project was announced that would enhance airport safety and capacity at the Monroe Regional Airport. 90% of the funding for the improvements is coming from the FAA and 10% is from DOTD. We spoke with the mayor of Monroe, Friday Ellis, about the collaboration. This is a great project. It adds new taxiways for our pilots uh, to navigate our airport. And the beauty of this one, it's 100% funded. Uh, so the feds and the state came together and said, hey, we would like for you not to use your aprons as taxiway. And by the way, here's the money to do that. This never happens. And so we're so thankful. Ellis continued by speaking on what the improvements could potentially mean for the airport. You know, pilots talk, airlines talk. Uh, the improvements that you make to your airport make it a more attractive environment for them to operate, which in turn could lead to a better environment and more attractive for other airlines to be able to come to Monroe. The project is one of multiple phases of improvements to the airport. The first phase is focused on adding taxiway D to make taking off and landing safer. The director of the Monroe Regional Airport spoke about the enhancements. The taxiway project is going to be great for the airport. It's uh, basically going to make, basically make a parallel uh, taxiway for 1432, one of our secondary runways. So it will help us be more in line with new FAA standards. Right now we've got a curve in the taxiway, so it'll make sure it's straight and it'll be a lot more safer for the pilots as they're coming in. The economic impact is expected to exceed $50 million, as well as making the airport more appealing and accessible for different airlines. Reporting in Monroe, Louisiana, for your Arklamis News Source, I'm Haley Hines. And a Monroe man has been arrested after an eight-year-old child was shot while sitting in a vehicle. That's our top story. According to the Washtenaw Parish Sheriff's Office, the shooting happened Monday on Berg Jones Lane in Monroe. The child, his mother, and two other people were sitting in the vehicle when shots were fired. The child was struck in both legs and taken to the hospital for treatment. Jamarion Godfrey was arrested and charged with four counts of attempt at second-degree murder. Investigators are still trying to identify other suspects involved. And staying in crime news, Washtenaw County Coroner Todd McCater was called to North Street for an unattended death. A body was found in what he calls a dump trailer. There, has no, there was no ID on the man, but he is suspected to be around 50 years old. His body has been sent to the state medical examiner's office for identification and to determine the case of the death. The coroner says the body had been there four and five, between four and five days before it was discovered. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. It's going to be very hot here this afternoon. The temperatures will be approaching the triple digit, so definitely uh, limit any time outdoors, entirely indoors if you can. There is going to be a chance for a patchy shower too that could be popping up. We have so much moisture in place, and with all the heat, that's going to be allowing for some patchy activity. But anything that pops up will kind of stay isolated. Now tonight we will fall mainly to the mid to upper 70s. A few clouds will still linger. There won't be really any rainfall when the sun goes down because we kind of lose that daytime heating. But still going to be a lot of moisture in place, so it's still going to be very muggy. Then as we go into tomorrow, we just kind of rinse and repeat. These temperatures still upper 90s near triple digits, and there's going to be a chance for a patchy shower thunderstorm, but again, staying isolated, mainly east of Highway 165, but still can't be ruled out for some other locations. Again, it's just kind of that hit or miss activity, and this will continue as we head towards the weekend. We do have excessive heat warnings that are in effect because the heat index will get above 110. So, like I said, definitely limit your time outdoors if at all possible. Stay hydrated and protect yourself from this excessive heat. Putting low 78 degrees for tonight, probably cloudy, still warm and muggy. And then for tomorrow, these temperatures will still be reaching triple digits and there's not much of any relief as we head into this weekend. Of course, there is limited type of relief with these chance of rain and thunderstorms that do provide some relief through the afternoon hours. But of course, even overnight, it's still going to be very warm and muggy. Next week, we are still going to continue in the upper 90s, so still remaining hot and humid. Lows will continue mid 70s. Well, that's it for your midday update. NBC News Daily continues. Have a great day. When you see news happening, call the NBC 10 Fox 14 News Hotline, 812 